Online book club meeting. Online book club meeting. Online book club. Where's the, uh... The... Oh, right. You know what? I killed the guy that does our flashback sequences last week. So, um, uh... Ninja Online Book Club! Hurry up! Okay, no, this is just ridiculous! Can we, can we just start this thing, please? <laughs> I do believe it would be most polite to wait until everyone has arrived. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We why? Why would we, we why would we wait? Dirk is always late. And even when he shows up, he's never read the book. Oh, yeah, you know what? He's true about that. that that's yeah, true I know it's you. true. Last week, for Sense and Sensibility, he just carved out the middle of the book for a place to put his shirkins. He didn't read it. Oh, yeah. I thought that was so artsy. You know, I was thinking about that. I thought it might have been a brilliant metaphor for the spiritual coldness of Eleanor. What? No, it was not. It was just because he saw Shawshank Redemption on cable. As a matter of fact, he did the exact same thing when we read Shawshank Redemption. He just cut out a hole in the middle of Shawshank Redemption and put a little throwing knife in there. Woo! Yeah, all right. Let's get to this. What is up, my ninjas? How's it going there? Who uses a smoke right. bomb to show up? Oh, who wants a lemon square? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> this thing poison. I'll never tell. That's Miss Carver for you, man. But you know what? No offense, I'm not actually going to eat it. Can we please get to this week's book, which happened to be the book Ooh. that I wrote? Uh, okay, uh, here's the thing about that. Let me guess, you didn't read it. But I think there was a lot of bad info. To, but anyway, I thought the book was a ninja. Metaphorically. Uh, yeah, that's what it was. Maybe no, it was, it was you actually like thought like the book was a ninja, didn't you? Look, that book and I, we killed a lot of stuff together this week. Miss Carver, what did you think of my book? Well, I read a different book. I did take one evening to peruse your freshman foyer into the passion of the page, and it was interesting. Thank you. You read a different book! Well, yes, because I'm already a ninja, so I thought, why do I need to read a book about becoming a ninja? So I read season three of Battlestar Galactica. That's a TV show. Great, thank you. So, Professor, since you're the only one who read my book, what did you think of it? I spent the first hour with the book just examining the cover. It was like slipping into the luxurious black satin night of rural Mongolia. What? They this is a landmark yeah. book. This is the first actual ninja manuscript that's ever been given to non-ninjas. Yeah, that is a big deal. I made it available to a couple non-ninjas in their heads. <laughs> the knowledge that is in this book could literally change the organization of everything in the world. Um, now, I would like to broach the subject of fonts for a moment. That's it. Book club is over. Sweet. I'm out of here. Smoke bomb! Oh, but we haven't chosen a book for next week. Does it matter? I would like to propose reading The Law and Author Marathon on USA. Oh, that sounds like a good book. It's not a... Ah, forget it. Smoke bomb! Man, is it just me or did that flashback do a horrible job of answering your question? Woo! I have got myself a lot of law and order to read. Thanks for the question, Lynn. I look forward to killing you with my book that is on sale everywhere now. Yeah. Carpet stains, overdue electric bills, hideous warts and boils. Cover them all up with the Ninja Handbook. Available now in some fine and some not so fine stores. Askaninjabook.com This episode is brought to you by Crowdfire.net, a crowdsourced celebration of live music presented by Windows. It's got technology and music, and it's all like colliding in a big ball of digital fire. Check out Crowdfire.net and search for Ask a Ninja. Okay, for any of you girls who are watching the show now, I imagine you want the recipe for my delicious lemon squares. Well, let me tell you, it's a quite simple recipe. First of all, all you have to do is make some delicious lemon squares. And then, the secret ingredient is, add some tasteless poison on top of them. Yeah, I guarantee you'll be the death of the party, just like me. 